Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com Well, most of you know me and most of you know that I love gadgets and I have two here. One I've shown you before, the Aftershocks headphone system which you put over your ears and actually works by channeling sound through the bone, they're bone conduction headphones. These are the Bluetooth version, they also do a corded version. Um, and this connects to any MP3 player that has Bluetooth or phone, so you can just run along, you can listen to music, but more importantly, you can actually hear the ambient sound, you can hear traffic coming up or someone coming up behind you. Well, my wife bought me these for Christmas last year. I know it's a year old, so I haven't done a review of these before now. And these are a Walkman MP3 player. So it's a Sony Walkman MP3 player in-ear headphones that actually does virtually the same thing. So instead of having to carry your music around with you to transmit to this, these have 12 gigabytes of space that you actually store your music on. So it's all on here, you don't have to do anything about it. And with this button here, it actually has an ambient sound feature. And that ambient sound feature lets the ambient sound through even though these are in your ears and giving you really good quality sound. Now to me that's fantastically important and it does work. I've used these cycling and I've used these running and in both they are absolutely brilliant. Now I'm going to try and give you a demonstration of that ambient sound feature by putting these to the microphone of the uh, camera that I've got. Okay so I have um, put a Rode microphone on my phone and whilst I do this test of the MP3 player you can watch Rod from the Kite Surf Zone in Sal Cape Verde. Um, he's riding a foil there. Now I'm just going to switch the music on. We're going to get some uh, Ian Dury here and I'm going to slowly but surely, at the moment the ambient noise is off um, so you might be ha have difficulty hearing me. Now I've switched the ambient noise on uh, and you should hear me slightly clearer. You see Rod's doing pretty well with his foil. I find it difficult enough getting up and he's there on a foil. You see he's, he's actually surfing above the wave. Um, now I'm going to switch it off again. And once again you should have slight more difficulty hearing me. Um, if that's a good test hopefully that will prove to you that it really does work and the ambient and non ambient. You can see Rod there just sailing away. Um, it's so annoying looking at that. He says that you can only do this where there's little wind. I have difficulty enough getting up when there's quite high wind. And I'll switch it off again. Um, so that's hopefully a good test and you can tell whether this actually works to potentially give you more ambient sound if you're doing exercise on the road or on pavement. The reason I didn't do a review earlier is that I used these in the pool without a hat on and they kept on falling out as I pushed off the wall. Plus I found it very difficult to hear once I was underwater and doing front crawl. So I'm doing it fairly fast. Now I think for a slower person that might not have made a difference. But recently, because I've been using them on the bike and I've been using them for running, I thought I'd have another go using them in the pool. So I decided to experiment with hats. Now here's my Blenheim hat from the Blenheim Triathlon and this wonderful British triathlon hat that was sent to us recently. I assume that's sent to everyone who's got a who's a member of British Triathlon. It may not be because I've got a coach's account, um, so perhaps not. Um, so I tried anchoring them on my head with both these hats. Now the Blenheim hat didn't work very well, but I'm pleased to say, and so will British Triathlon, that this hat, which is very good quality silicon, actually did work pretty well in securing them on my head. Only occasionally would I knock them out with my arm as I came forward. However, I still had problem, a problem hearing them. Not so much with backstroke, um, obviously breaststroke would be fine as well, um, but certainly with front crawl. I do have tinnitus in one ear, so it makes it much more difficult for me to hear, but I had difficulty hearing them when I was underwater. Sometimes I could hear them, sometimes I couldn't. What I experimented with was with different size of earbuds to see if it made a difference. It seemed to make a bit of a difference. The more you block out water, the more you can hear, but I didn't find it particularly successful. I'm swimming 135-ish seconds per 100 metres, so that's reasonably fast. And I was actually doing a fast set as well, so I was going down to about 120 
for 100 meters on 50 meter swims, trying to test these out. But I still couldn't really hear that well on them. Um, they did make a difference, but not a massive difference. I think if you're leisure swimming or open water swimming, they might make more of a difference because you're not actually turning and pushing off that hard. I actually tumble turn. Um, and again, once you're underwater, you can't hear as well as if one of them's out the water. So yes, they are good. Yes, they would be good for leisure swimming, but I don't think they're that good if you're actually trying to get a, a reasonably speedy session going. However, you do need a good hat to secure them in your ears. Otherwise, they'll come off when you push off quite hard. So overall, I would say that these are a tremendous piece of kit. And I use them for turbo training. And believe me, I'm going to go through this with you in a few weeks. This, these make a turbo session just fly by if you do particular things. As I say, I'll do a vlog on that in the next couple of weeks. They can also save your life if you're out cycling or if you're out running. I hate to see people with headphones in that can't hear the traffic. It's a very dangerous way to cycle if you're out there. It's even a dangerous way to run. Because if you come to a curb and you go straight off and you haven't heard the car, you are in serious trouble. You cannot win a fight with a ton of metal, honest. Okay, so there you go. Excellent piece of kit. I actually really enjoy using them. I say I'll take these to a turbo session, I'll take these running more than I will actually now take these because I don't actually need any other kit apart from that. That's all I need. And they stay in no matter how sweaty you get. And believe me, I get pretty sweaty. Okay, that's it for this week. Hopefully I'll see you next week. Actually, next week I'm in America, in Charleston. If anyone's in Charleston that's watched this and sees me, say hello, will you? All right, keep well. See you soon.